One of the largest employee-led volunteer events in Rhode Island is upon us. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Rhode Island and the United Way are teaming up again for the fifth annual Blue Across Rhode Island Day. Love that. And here to share their work, we have Carolyn Belial from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Rhode Island and Sandy Connors from the United Way of Rhode Island. Good morning, ladies. Nice Good to morning, see you, Carolyn. Brendan. Thank Sandy. you. Good morning. Pleasure to have you here. Lots to talk about. You know, I was reading some of the statistics which I have here in front of me. Last year, 680 employees participated in this Blue Cross RI Day, which is great. So talk about, you know, the idea behind this and how it really came to fruition. Sure. So Blue Cross Rhode Island is Blue Cross's signature volunteer day of service. It's one day where we deploy hundreds of our Blue Cross associates across multiple nonprofit organizations in Rhode Island all for the purpose of performing meaningful community service. And what will those volunteer acts be? I mean, what exactly will they be doing? Because it's a great opportunity to give back. Sure, we are really covering the state. We're everywhere from Warren, Warwick, Woonsocket, everywhere in between. We're gonna be painting homeless shelters. We're going to be recreating recess play spaces at a local elementary school. We'll be preparing food items for Rhode Island's Hungary, and we'll be doing fitness assessments for local youth. Are there any uh, specific ways you know that you recruit the, the employees to get involved? Is it at will? Is it just something that they want to be a part of? How do you get them in, involved? So Blue Cross Rhode Island has become a beloved day at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Rhode Island. Uh, recruitment is not challenging with this being our fifth anniversary. Mm -hmm. It's a day our associates have come to um, look forward to and be so excited. So we start in July to get folks signed up and assigned to the right projects, but it's an easy sell, Brandon. And what a great way to get the whole team on board and on the same page to really give back. It's a, it's a great thing. And Sandy, of course, Let's talk about your involvement, the United Way component here. It's great that you can kind of work together. Sure, absolutely. United Way really works with corporate partners like Blue Cross Blue Shield to work on real community needs. And so Carolyn and her team contacted our team when the planning started to talk about what are some of the needs that are really happening? What do people really need in Rhode Island? And United Way has that connection through our 211 call center where we get about 200,000 calls a year from Rhode Islanders in need, 100,000 of them for food. And let's talk about the cumulative impact over the last five years. I mean, you've done a lot of great work. We've done some amazing work. We've mm -hmm. had thousands of volunteer hours, 18,000 plus volunteer hours. Blue Cross also makes a charitable donation to the organizations we partner with, so that's up over $200,000 so far. We've been uh, supporting 40 some odd Rhode Island based nonprofit organizations, and the impact is approaching 51,000 strong. And we can't forget before we go. Nutritionally fortified mac and cheese for 27,000 hungry Rhode Islanders. What so is better than that? Taking this home. Okay. <laughs> I love mac and cheese. Well, great to have you here, Thanks, Carolyn. Brandon. Thank great. you for sharing this great story. Sandy, thank you thank as well. You. It's a wonderful thing going on, you guys. If you would like to share info about the great work being done, of course, in Rhode Island for Rhode Islanders, and to learn all about what they are up to, just head to roadshow.com.